Word was spreading. People were talking. The news of Jesus spread far and wide. Jesus and his disciples were headed up to the city, to Jerusalem. Just before they arrived, Jesus told his disciples to go into the next village and bring a young donkey that had never been ridden. Never been ridden? What would the owners say? Just as Jesus said, the owners asked the disciples why they were taking their donkey. Because the master needs it, they answered. The disciples threw their cloaks on the donkey's back before they set Jesus upon it. As Jesus rode upon the tiny animal, people gathered round, laying palms and cloaks on the ground before them. Word was spreading. People were talking. More and more, louder and louder. Word was spreading. People were talking. They were shouting and singing. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of God. Blessed is the kingdom, the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Blessed is the kingdom. Hosanna? What kind of king is this? On a roadway paved with cloaks and palms. The word was spreading. And some of the people in charge were not happy. Some of them in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. Jesus answered, I tell you, if they were silent, the stones would shout aloud. Word was spreading. People were talking. The news of Jesus echoed through all creation. spreading. People were talking. The news of Jesus spread far and wide. When Jesus went into the temple and found it full of people buying and selling, he was furious. This is a house of prayer, he said, but you have made it into a den of thieves, he cried and he drove them out. Then Jesus began to teach in the temple, and people gathered from near and far to hear his words and to be healed. The leaders were afraid. If the people listened to Jesus, who would listen to them? They had to get rid of him soon. Word was spreading, people were talking, the news grew and grew. The time of the Passover feast drew near, and Jesus wanted to share it with his closest friends. They would celebrate with special food, songs, prayers, and stories. 
to remember when God helped the children of Israel escape from Egypt. Jesus sent two disciples to find a room where they could eat the Passover meal. So they went, they found everything, and they prepared for the special meal. Word was spreading. People were talking. Jesus drew his friends close to him. Together, they gathered around the table. Yes, word was spreading. Good news was growing. But how could Jesus get his friends through the next few days? Full of love, he took a loaf of bread, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. Do this to remember me. Full of love, he took a cup of wine and said, this cup is poured out for many as God's covenant with you. Full of awe and wonder, the friends ate the bread and shared the cup. They had been fed with stories and prayers, words and deeds, and now, this most special bread and wine. Word was spreading. Then Jesus said a most frightening thing. One of you gathered here is not my friend. One of you will turn me over to those who want to hurt me. For a moment, it was as if time stood still. They could not believe the words that rushed and poured over them. Someone would betray him. Jesus looked at Peter, filled with deep love and deeper sadness. You will all become deserters. As it is written, I will strike the shepherd and all will be scattered. Peter cried, what do you mean? When even they all might become deserters, I will not. Even if I must die with you, I will not deny you. Jesus sighed. I tell you, Peter, before the rooster crows to end this night, you will have pretended three times that you do not know me. was spreading, people were whispering, Jesus and his friends went to the Mount of Olives, to the Garden of Gethsemane, and he looked at them and said, keep awake while I pray. Then moving away from them, he knelt down and 
full of despair, he prayed, Father, remove this cup from me. When he stood up, he saw that his friends had fallen asleep. Word was spreading in secrets and whispers. Suddenly a crowd came led by Judas. He kissed Jesus as a sign to tell the soldiers that he was the one they wanted. Soldiers arrested Jesus. Then Jesus said to them, you saw me every day. Why didn't you arrest me in the temple? Why do you come in the dark of night and treat me like a bandit? The soldiers didn't say anything. Judas didn't say anything. They took Jesus away. And all of the disciples ran away, even Peter. Word was spreading, whispers, whispers, fingers pointing. Peter followed Jesus from a distance. You were with him, said the servant girl. You are one of them. You are Galilean, said a man. I'm sure he was one of them, said the servant girl to the bystanders. I do not know him. I am not. I do not what know what you are talking about, Peter shouted. And a rooster crowed. Full of shame, Peter went out and wept. was spreading, name calling, angry shouts, a howling mob. Jesus was beaten and dragged from one place to the next, from prison to the high priests to the governor Pontius Pilate and back to prison. Word was spreading. Who are you? What have you done? What is your crime? Dressed in royal robes, crowned with thorns, everyone made fun of him. Joyous shouts of, blessed is the king, gave way to angry snarls, Crucify him! Crucify him! And so, Pilate handed him over to be crucified.
Word of Jesus was spreading. People were gathering, following Jesus as he dragged a huge wooden cross. Through the streets, people laughing, leaders mocking, women weeping, friends crying. Jesus was crucified between two bandits. You saved others, can't you save yourself? Jesus said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? It was as if earth and heaven were torn from their loving embrace. All was lost. Jesus cried out and breathed his last. A centurion watching said, truly, this man was God's son. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. There was no word. A good man named Joseph asked for the body of Jesus, and full of love and care, he wrapped it in a linen cloth. And ever so gently, he laid Jesus in a tomb, hollowed out of the rock. The woman followers came to prepare the body, but time was running out. And when the sun went down, there could be no more work for the day. The job of blessing Jesus' body would have to wait. There was no word, or was there? There was weeping, there was sighing. Was it all over? It was so quiet, we could hear our hearts beat, his heart beats. We would wait through this dark night and the next day. And at sunrise on the third day, we would be ready to make the journey with him and to him. We would carry our perfumes and spices and see if there was any word 